You're watching Eyewitness Newsmakers. We return with Senate Minority Leader Bob Huff of Diamond Bar. Let me talk to you about the governor's state of the state address, which is coming up on Thursday. What do you need him to talk about that will give you um, perhaps more uh, ease on your mind about what's in that budget? I would like to see him focus on job creation. Uh, we talk about it a lot, but there hasn't been much really focus on getting people back to work, and we're still one of the highest unemployed states in the, in the nation. Well, so how does the state do that? Well, the state has policies either to help or hurt. Uh, the governor, one thing he has in his sights this year to deconstruct are enterprise zones in, in local government. They tend to think that helps because it takes economic depressed areas, gives some tax credit to businesses that actually do that. So we'll be looking to see if he has any bone to throw to the business community that makes them actually want to locate here or grow jobs here. I think that's very important for the overall economic health of the state. Like the community redevelopment agencies, which went by the wayside. Yeah, that went by the wayside, and we have nothing to replace that. And uh, so we may find some infrastructure finance districts. We don't really know what the governor is going to do to replace that, and he may wait until it's fully dead. He keeps scoring money, even in this budget, that he thinks he's going to get from there that the locals say is just not there. But at some point, we have to have some economic development tool at the local level. A word that I hate to use but is uh, so all-encompassing, infrastructure, uh, roads, water, where does the state stand on that, and how do you feel about funding some of these proposals that have been kicked down the road, it seems, year to year with the budget crises that no longer exist, at least this, at least this year? Yeah, the infrastructure is often one of the first things that gets scuttled when you get into economic downturns. So for some time, we've been underfunding infrastructure, and we absolutely have to put more money into that. And I think this is an area where Republicans can agree with Democrats that, uh, you know, we have to build up the infrastructure. It impacts everybody, whether it's the... Uh, mom taking her kids to school or the, the delivery guy trying to get a product to the market or to the home. So it's, it's a big problem. Um, the the uh, water bonds that have been deferred, do you see them coming up anywhere soon? We keep deferring them. They have to come up sometime. There is talk about shrinking them, some opening up the bond in, or even killing it and starting over. That would be a shame, I think. It is a lot of money, but it was a very difficult process to get it to where it is. And it, 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 it took the north, the south, the urban, the suburb, and the farmers, the city dwellers, and it tried to balance all that stuff in the environmentalists and come out with a win-win. And that's what that package was. A uh, hundred million dollars approximately the budget that the governor is proposing, uh, but in it we've just discussed briefly hidden that wall of debt, $28 billion he wants to buy down. But it could be far more. Do you worry about the, that almost $200 billion uh, that uh, could be lurking out there, getting kicked down the road? We have other things that will bite us first, but those are the kind of things you have to plan for. And absent plans, nothing happens in Sacramento. So certainly, should the governor in his state of the state outline a process for that, that would be welcome also. Wall Street loves to see those kinds of things paid off as well. All right, Senator Huff, we have run out of time, but I want to thank you for joining us today, and we'll be watching the budget process. You think it's going to be adopted by June 15th and sent to the governor? What's your bet? I have no doubt. All right. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for joining us this morning for Eyewitness Newsmakers. If you have comments about this program, we invite you to join the conversation on Twitter at ABC7 Newsmakers. For all of us at Eyewitness News, I'm Adrian Alpert. Thanks for watching.